Right, so you join me at Berners Hall in Essex. And yeah, we've just turned up. All the gear's still uh, on the barrow. Um, had a look round, found some fish and uh, chucked some zigs out. And um, yeah, pretty much straight away we're, uh, we're into one. So happy days. Colour down there. Oh, he's a nice scale. Oh, he's lovely. So now that I've had a bite and I've got the fish in the net, um, I'm just changing all my other rods over to that depth. So I put out to start with a four, a six, and an eight foot zig. Uh, all on the same black and red digger liners. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to uh, swap all of them over to the four. That's the one that I caught that fish on. So uh, yeah, all going out on the fours. Let's hope uh, it'll bring a few more. I'm sure it will. Right, well, I haven't even had a chance to change all three of my rods yet because I've got the rod back out that I had that fish on. I changed one of my other rods. And uh, yeah, that one that I changed, it was on an eight. I put it on a four. And uh, it's gone, yeah. So, <laughs> pretty good start to, to proceedings. I'm no closer to being uh, any more set up. I've got one waiting for its photo. And then one, that, I mean, this is absolutely beasted me. I feel like it's almost on the other side of the lake. But um, yeah, what a start, what a start. And I've still got, yeah, got till, till tomorrow. So, a day and a night. Hopefully we can uh, we can put a bit of a uh, a bit of an early spring hit together. So there is the second of the two that I've had pretty much straight away after uh, after getting uh, getting the rods out. Typical sort of spring fishing. Seen the fish showing. Luckily managed to get into a uh, into a peg uh, that could give me good access to them. That was free. And uh, yeah, two zigs and straight away two bites. Very very pleasing start to the session. And uh, and the other one is a lot bigger and a lot scalier. Not ideal. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, I think I've got one on that rod. Well, as you probably just seen, I was trying to get the uh, bigger one out to show you. And just as I put it in the uh, in the sling to bring it up the bank, my other rod is absolutely torn off. Um, so yeah, I managed to sort of zip it up into the sling and put it safely in the margins. And um, yeah, we got another one on. Absolutely mental. But this is what it can be like in the spring. You can just get get on them and uh, get the right tactic and just. Yeah, club them. Awesome fishing. Oh, look at the scales on that. Yes, it is gorgeous. 
Well, this just keeps on getting better and better. That's another, probably probably a 20 pounder, scales all over it. Wicked, probably only just gone 10 o'clock. <laughs> He's way bigger than what we thought. 30 pounds. Five. Four. 30 pound four. <laughs> so, there is the first bite. And um, we kind of underestimated him, but he is proper thick across the back. Really full, deep belly. And uh, yeah, just a few ounces over. 30 pounds, I mean, you just can't ask for better fishing action than this after, yeah, no time at all of being here. Um, yeah, hopefully we can catch some more on some zigs and then, because uh, we're catching them quite sort of low down on the zigs, I feel like the fish is just scooting over the top of the wing. I think later on tonight, we could probably get a bit of bait out there and, um, and maybe tonight and early tomorrow morning, catch some on the bottom, but for now, I'll, uh, I'll quite happily continue to chuck my zigger liners about. And there is number three, a wicked scaly one. Check out the big apple slices on that. Mega fish, Burners Hall is always very, very kind to me. And uh, yeah, so far today, it's doing the same as per usual. Awesome fishing. So I'm pretty uh, pretty settled now, got everything set up. Um, and I haven't had a bite actually for an hour and a half, which is uh, a long time compared to how it was going uh, this morning. And yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a bit of a lead up to try and find a spot to put a bit of bait out. I'm not gonna put a lot out, um, I don't think that they're going to be eating loads and loads it is still um, early spring um, but I'm going to put a bit of bait out I'm going to keep my rods out on the on on the zigs for for now um, because they have been working and if I get a few more bites on those great but I've got another option to uh, to fall back on if I find a spot and put some bait out Mate, it stinks a carp. <laughs> it literally stinks a carp. So I'm in again. I've um, yeah, found a spot that I'll hopefully fish later on. But at the moment, the action on the zigs is... Uh, well, it's picked up again, I think, because well, I know because I've made a change. Um, it was, yeah, quiet for a good few hours on the uh, on the four footers, and I've, I've simply put out uh, a couple of six footers, and yeah, it really hasn't been very long at all. And it's just those little tweaks and changes, especially in the springtime. You know, the fish are here, there, and everywhere. They're moving up and down in the water column all day. And that means that if you stay active, like the fish are active, then you'll catch more fish. And um, yeah, like I said, I started on fours. That was really good. Went quiet, so I've moved to sixes and that's been really good. And I, and I dare say I'll make a few more changes um, and, uh, and, and catch fish on, on various different uh, depths of zigs and, and, and methods throughout the session.
So check out that. Slate grey scaly. Yeah, just a little bit under 20 pounds this one. Um, but proof that you know you've got to keep on changing things. If you want to continue catching this time of year, it's just ring the changes um, because the fish are doing all sorts this time of year and you've got to follow them. Uh, this fish has actually been passing a little bit of bait on the uh, on the mat, obviously from someone who was here at the weekend or someone who was here before me. Um, so that gives me sort of a good a good idea that giving them some bait as well isn't going to be a bad idea either. Okay, so this is the mix that I'm going for. The sort of theme of what I'm trying to do is not feed them too much, but attract them in as, uh, as much as possible and keep them in the area for as long as possible. I don't want to go putting loads and loads of uh, food items in. So this is predominantly triple X boily crumb, sweet corn, there's a tin of sweet corn in there, and then there's, um, You'll be able to see these loads of little blood worm in there, and that's the uh, that's the frozen blood worm getting in a uh, in a kilo bag. So it's a kilo of frozen blood worm, probably just over a kilo of crumb. There's a few ten millers in there as well, and then there's uh, then there's the sweet corn. And um, yeah, the fact that there's not any real big food items in there, hopefully, is going to get them proper grubbing about and not feed them up too much because it is still very early in the year. Now the reason that I've, I'm using quite so much uh, boiling crumb as what I am, normally I tend to try not to use as, uh, as much as what I've got in there, but where it's so windy, this boiling crumb sort of stodges it up and it will get the blood worm down through the water a little bit quicker. I just need it to get through that first couple of foot where there's a proper toe on the water and then it should fall quite nicely. Um, so yeah, the boiling crumb just helps it cut through the top of the water. And uh, yeah, all carp absolutely love blood worms. So hopefully that's gonna get them absolutely nailing it. And uh, yeah, at some point tonight, and maybe uh, tomorrow morning, we can, uh, we can string a few bites together on the deck. So I'm just getting myself sorted for the night. I think to start with, I'm gonna put one rod over my bait and I'm gonna keep two on zigs because uh, obviously they have been working really, really well for me today and they could well work tonight. But um, yeah, if I get a bite on the bottom, then all of my rods are gonna be going over onto the, uh, onto the bottom for the rest of the night. I've got a pink Carp Freak pop-up. That's just on a, uh, on a 360 rig on a soft supple boom and I've critically balanced it so that it sinks really really slowly and that will lie over uh, the, the sort of little bits and bobs of weed that I have been picking up on the grappling lead uh, when I've been leading about but there's not a lot out there so that will be presented absolutely perfectly. I'll probably put 10 spots of bait out so not a lot at all um, hopefully enough to get me a bite and then I'll top up as and when I do.
getting into the evening now, it's probably going to be dark in about half an hour, something like that. And today's been really, really good. Um, it's slight, slightly slowed up this afternoon, um, but I've had another, another couple of bites. I think I've had six fish in total now. Um, yeah, obviously the ones that, that we showed you and I slipped, uh, slipped a couple of the smaller ones back, but the action's been, been great. It has slowed up this afternoon. I probably haven't had a bite for maybe two and a half hours now. I've still been chopping and changing a little bit, but yeah, my bait's only really been out there for about an hour. So hopefully that's going to start working for me throughout the night. I am going to switch one of my other rods over um, from the zigs onto the bottom as well, probably just on dark because I, I, I've got a feeling that they're going to they're gonna get on it and I haven't had a bite for yeah, like I say, two and a half hours on a zig. So um, we'll hope that that, that little change will, uh, will bring about some action through the night. Well, it's been a long time coming, but I finally had another bite. Um, and this one is off the bait. I've kept one on a, on a zig pretty much the whole night and I've had two, um, two over the bait. And yeah, my, uh, my cart freak has, uh, has gone off. This is my first, first bite on the latest batch of, uh, of cart freaks as well. So, um, I'm sure Mark will be pleased. And um, yeah, it feels feels nice to get some off of the bait. Uh, to be honest, I thought that I would have had a bite on a uh, on a zig um, first thing this morning. I'm fishing the same depths as what I fished yesterday, and it hasn't happened. And I've seen a couple of other people um, around the lake get bites, and I'm pretty sure that's been on the deck. So it, it just sort of shows how how changeable things are at, in in the spring and how you just have to yeah ring the changes to keep the bites bites coming but hopefully my hook hold's going to stay firm and we can get this in the uh, in the net Lovely, clean, low 20 this morning. Obviously, I switched two rods over to, uh, to fishing on the bait. And um, yeah, this one came over the bait. And uh, my first one on the latest batch of Cart Creek pop-ups, which I believe are the final ones. They smell awesome. And obviously, the fish like them too. Well, there's been a lot, a lot of fish showing a couple of pegs to my left, right up in the corner. And I was sort of starting to sort a few bits out to have a bit of a, uh, a bit of a move for the last few hours of the session to try and maximize it down there. And uh, yeah, literally out of the blue, 
one of my rods on the bait has gone again. So happy days. Maybe it was worth sitting on my hands a little bit. But um, yeah, it's actually quite close in now. But what a session it's been really, like catching on different methods. This is, if I get it in, number eight, you can't complain at that. Is it a ghosting? A little bit like a ghosting. Let's go on the yellow submarine. Yes! Look at that! Off a ghosty. Oh, I'm well happy with that. I love ghosty. Proper love of. How about that? Just over 20 pounds of proper angry ghost carp. Um, we haven't got very long left, so this could be the last one on the trip. But if it is, I've had a wicked, wicked time at, uh, at Burners. It's always really kind to me. And uh, I think this is a very fitting way to end because I absolutely love ghosties. Wicked. So I'm just about to start packing up now. It's come to the end of my session, done probably just over 24 hours. And it's been wicked. I ended up with nine fish. I had one more uh, about two hours ago on the, uh, on the baited spot again. Lovely 28 pound common to, uh, to round things off. Yeah, it's been wicked. Nine fish to just over 30 pounds. Really can't argue with that. It's been, uh, been a proper, proper fun session here at Burners Hall.